Hey guys, welcome back to the Basically Nomads Bus. Today we're going to be talking about my gaming PC setup and how that runs and how we get internet, all of it together. You guys have been asking quite a few questions about it, so I thought I would give you a little insight into how we do it. You can see behind me here, this is our monitor, TV, computer, it's all right here. I actually have the tower, which is located down here in our storage, that can either open or close. But this is my 34 inch ultra wide. I have everything wireless so it can stay like just really nice and neat. We like to keep like a real minimalist look. Um, usually I have like my speaker and stuff up here, but if we want to, we can just really clean it up. As far as my specs for this build, I just revamped the whole thing. I had a full size case, or actually a mid tower, and it was way too big for our bus. I had it in the storage area on its side, and it was just like such a big problem. It's actually my next video is going to be showing how I swapped the parts into what's called an ITX mini case. This case makes so much more sense in this bus. Um, it's just great. The cooling is not great though. Uh, I actually did a couple modifications, as you can probably tell. Kind of just hacked off the side of it and added another chassis fan up to the top of it to get that heat dissipated a little faster. I was having a bunch of overheating issues in the beginning, but that fixed it up pretty quick. So the case that I'm working with is called the Node 202. It's that ITX mini build that I was talking about. It can be stored horizontally or vertically, which was perfect for our build. I had to have something that went horizontal. It has an RTX 2080 in it as my graphics card. I have an older Ryzen 7 1800X CPU that I got like right when it came out and it's been performing really well. I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Got 16 gigs of RAM with a 650 watt power supply. So I've also got my 34 inch ultra wide 100 hertz monitor and I've had no issues running any game at ultra at really high frame rates. So as far as gaming goes. It is a pretty sweet system. I also use it for simple editing. I don't do any encoding or, or rendering or anything like that. So I don't need too beefy of a CPU, but my CPU is able to handle it, no issues. One of the main things that people have asked is if we can game on solar. So the truth is most of the time we're actually connected to shore power, but yes, for the most part, we can run the computer off of solar. Uh, it's always going to depend on what your solar setup is. So the bigger your setup is, obviously, the more that you can do. In our case, we have 740 watts. That gives us about 6 amps at 120 volts. So that means that if my computer runs under that, then it should run fine. My computer usually runs, I think, 2 to 3 amps. Uh, under full load, it's probably a little bit more. So that means when I'm getting full sun, I should have no problem running this and also charging the batteries at the same time. Uh, where you might have an issue is during the night, obviously it's going to discharge those batteries quite a bit. But I do have a 600 amp hour battery bank made of 6 batteries, so this should have no problem running all night. Uh, where it might come into an issue is if we try to run everything else off of the solar at the same time like our fridge that would probably max it out so that means that if we had like one cloudy day it would really have trouble recuperating like charging during the day and running all of this now obviously i'm not gaming 24 hours a day uh, if i do game it's usually for maybe a couple hours at a time and so it'll very easily recuperate from that even if the fridge is running so as far as games that i play i play a little bit of everything i really like first-person shooters, strategy games. Uh, lately, I've been playing Resident Evil 3, just beat that. And then Warzone is really hot right now, so I've been playing that. But I also love to dip back into some Civilization 5 is a great game. Counter-Strike, really a lot of survival horror games I'm into, so just almost anything. The other big part of it that we get a lot is how do we do internet to support gaming. Um, obviously, I have a lot of larger size file downloads, which you can't do a lot of times with just a hotspot. Sometimes you can, uh, but I do use sort of a hotspot. I use a wireless modem, and this just takes a SIM card. I actually have a full video on this if you guys want to check that out. I give a full breakdown on what we do for internet and how we use this awesome little modem to give great internet. Like I think right now we've got 40 meg generally, like that's what I get download. So uh, speeds have been great, I've never had a problem. I actually had my brother-in-law was here and we were both playing games on the same network, hooked up to ethernet, and it was perfect. So check that out if you're interested in that. So this isn't only our gaming computer, this is actually our main TV area as well. So we use this to watch movies, Netflix, all that. 
And the way we do that is this thing is actually on a swivel. So it can, you know, pull out pretty far away from the wall. Uh, we have couches over here that we usually sit down or it turns into a bed and we'll lay down on that. And then we can just totally tilt that thing all the way, you know, to a nice viewing angle so we can watch TV from bed. Um, one more thing since I guess I'm talking about the entirety of the desk area is if you really want to go minimal with the space, you can actually clean the entire thing off and then hit these tabs and voila, it goes completely flat against the wall. But yeah guys, that's my build. Um, I love it and I knew that it was going to be something that I was not going to give up moving into a tiny home. Uh, I'm so glad that we tucked it into this much smaller case. Like before I forced it in here, it didn't really fit well, and now it belongs here. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe. Give that video a like if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought, but also comment down below if you have a build of your own and you can share it with us. All right guys, until next time, thanks.